Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can personalize a list in service now and how we can configure a list in service now. But before we start, what is the difference between personalization and configuration of a list in service now? So as the word itself says personalized means whatever the changes you made in the list will be visible to you and you only. It will not be visible to other users or will change for other users. And the configuration of list in service now means that you are making changes for others users as well. Okay, so this was the difference between personalization and configuration of list in service now. Now let's see the demo of it, how we can personalize and configure a list in service now. First we are going to see how we can personalize a list in service now. So when a user should personalize a list in service now, basically it all depends upon the user's choice. Whether the user wants to see or hide some fields on the list, enable list editing or not, wrap colon text or not. If the user is a developer or tester, so user wants to test some of the fields functionality for all the records, then with the help of personalization, users can bring up that particular field and sort a list according to that field. This can be one of the options. At last, it all depends upon the user's personal choices of a list, how the users want to see that particular list when users open up a particular table's records. Now we are going to see the demo of personalization of a list in ServiceNow. For this demo, we are going to use the incident table and we are going to open the list of records of incident. So how we can open the list of records of incident is that Click on all navigation menu. Once we click on it, in the filter navigator type incident dot list, and once we hit enter, we will be redirected to the list of records of incidents as you can see. And this is called the incident list. And what we are going to do is that we are going to configure the list of incidents according to our conditions. So, how we can personalize the list? In the list header, you will see there is a gear icon. Once we hover over it, it says personalize list. Okay, so click on it. It will open up a model box that says personalize list columns. We have the two slash buckets available and selected. In the available slash buckets, we will see all the columns which are available for the incident table. And in the selected slash bucket, we will see all the columns which will be viewed on the list of the incident. Now what we want is that we want some field from available slash bucket to move to selected slash bucket so that it will be visible on the list. And we will move one field from selected slash bucket back to the available slash bucket so that it will be hidden. And now what we are going to do is that we are going to hide the open column for that we are going to click on it and we are going to move it to the available slash bucket and we are going to make active column visible for that we are going to select it and move it to the selected slash bucket and we are going to reorder it and make it present after the number column right now in the back screen you can see after the number column you are seeing the open column but once we click ok and we personalize the list you will see the active column after the number column so we are going to click ok and the page will reload and you will see that open column is hidden and active column is visible. Now we have personalized the list of incidents and on the gear icon you will see a dot which is representing that the user has personalized the list means the list which you are seeing is not the default list of incident it has been personalized by the user okay so that's how service now represent that Whenever you see a gear icon and a dot on it, it means that the list is personalized. Now if we hover over the gear icon, you will see the tooltip also change. Update personalized list. Before it was personalized list. Okay. Once you personalize the list, the tooltip also change and you will see a dot on gear icon. So let's go back to the personalized list columns model again. So we have seen the functionality of available slash bucket and selected slash bucket. Now there are checkboxes available 
like wrap column text, compact rows, active row highlighting, modern cell coloring, enable list edit, double click to edit. So what does it mean is that wrap column text, if it is unchecked, then in the back end you will see there is a short description which is coming in two lines. It will come only in one line if it is unchecked. Compact rows means you are seeing in the background there are spaces in rows. So you will not see more spaces if it is unchecked. Active row highlighting means alternative rows will have different colors. Modern cell coloring means the cell will be colored in a modern format but if it is unchecked it will not be colored in a modern format. We are going to see that. Enable list edit if it is unchecked then you cannot edit a record in learn list okay double click to edit so whenever we want to edit a column record so whenever we want to change the value of a column we have to double click on it and then the edit functionality will come up but if it is unchecked then single click will work just demonstrate it like this only all the checkboxes are checked click ok so we have talked about wrap text column compact rows active row highlighting and this is what is modern cell coloring and if we want to change the value of a column then we have to double click on it and you will see that we can edit it but if you want to change the functionality of it if you want to personalize your list what you can do is that click on gear icon now we are going to uncheck everything okay and click ok now you can see that the short description are coming in one line means wrap text column is unchecked modern cell coloring is unchecked so the color appears like this active row highlighting is unchecked so you can see alternative rows are having different colors and we cannot edit or change the value of a column by clicking on it because we have unchecked the enable list edit checkbox okay so that's how you can personalize a list in service now and we are going to come back to this reset to column defaults. Basically what it will do is that once you click on it, so whatever is the column defaults for the incident table is, it will come up again. Okay. But before we do that, we are going to tell you that now whatever the changes we have made on the list of incidents will not be applicable to another user because we have personalized the list of incident, not configured a list of incident. So we are going to impersonate another user, click on profile icon, select impersonate user, select the demo user. Basically this is a demo user which we have created and the demo user is having the admin role so that the user can see the incident list of records. And now we are impersonating as demo user, we are going to click on all navigation menu in the filter navigator type incident dot list once we hit enter you can see that the changes which we have made for our another user is not applicable to the demo user because we have personalized the list not configured the list and now we are going to go back to our original user so click on profile icon select and impersonation and now we are going to reset the column to the defaults so for that what we are going to do is that click on gear icon again and just click on reset to column defaults once we click on it it will reset to column defaults and remove all the personalization that we have done for the list of incidents so click on this and you will see the page reloads and our personalization has gone now the open column is back active column is not back and you might have noticed that when we click on reset to column defaults what it does is that 
it switch to the default column view of the incidents okay it does not change the behavior of the checkboxes you can see the checkboxes behavior is still applicable here when we click on reset to column defaults what it does is that it bring back the default list layout of the incident okay it does not change the behavior of the checkboxes so for changing the behavior of the checkboxes we have to manually click on the checkboxes and tell which functionality we want for the list so click ok now it all come back to the default so that's how you do the personalization of a list in service now